Have you ever pondered the possibility of mining on the moon, and if so, could it be a profitable venture? A question that has sparked the imagination of scientists, entrepreneurs and dreamers alike. The genesis of moon mining can be traced back to early theories and speculations about the moon's untapped mineral wealth. The idea was not just a figment of some sci-fi writer's imagination, but rooted in scientific hypotheses and the allure of the moon's mysterious resources. Among the pioneers of this concept was Apollo 17 astronaut Harrison H. Schmidt, whose footsteps on the lunar surface in the late 20th century marked not just a giant leap for mankind, but also the beginning of a vision. A vision to mine the moon and harness its elements for the benefit of our planet. The moon, our closest celestial neighbor, has silently observed Earth's evolution for billions of years. But now, it's not just an object of wonder, but a potential treasure trove holding keys to our future. With the advent of startups like Interloon, backed by industry veterans and millions in funding, the moon's mineral wealth is inching closer to our reach. And so, the stage was set for a new era of space exploration and resource exploitation. So, what exactly are we hoping to find on the moon? Well, it's not cheese, folks. The moon's resources, in fact, are much more exciting. One of the most sought-after elements is helium-3. This isotope is rare on Earth but abundant on our celestial neighbor. Helium-3 is a potential fuel for nuclear fusion, a process that could provide us with clean, virtually limitless energy. Unlike traditional nuclear power which relies on the splitting of atoms and generates hazardous waste, nuclear fusion combines atoms under immense heat and pressure, mimicking the natural process that powers the sun and stars. The result? An incredible amount of energy with helium-3 as a byproduct. But helium-3 isn't the moon's only treasure. Scientists believe the moon harbors a wealth of other resources including water ice which could be used for life support and fuel, and valuable metals, which could be used for in-space manufacturing. In essence the moon could be a gold mine not of gold but of helium-3, a potential game-changer in energy production. But how close are we to turning this idea into reality, and crucially, can it be a profitable venture? Now, let's talk about Interloon, a promising startup that's setting its sights on the lunar surface. Founded by industry veterans like Rob Meyerson, Interloon has a grand plan to mine helium-3 from the moon and bring it back to Earth. This ambitious company has already secured $18 million in funding and aims to establish a pilot plant on the lunar surface by 2028, with operations kicking off in earnest just two years later. Interloon's team is a veritable who's who of the industry, boasting notable figures such as Apollo 17 astronaut Harrison H. Schmidt. But let's get down to brass tacks. Is moon mining a potentially profitable venture? Well, it's a complex equation. On one hand, the costs of space travel are astronomical, pun intended. Sending equipment and personnel to the moon and back doesn't come cheap. On the other hand, helium-3 is a valuable resource. It's been touted as a potential fuel for nuclear fusion, a form of energy generation that could power our world cleanly and efficiently. If nuclear fusion becomes a reality, the demand for helium-3 could skyrocket, making moon mining an incredibly lucrative business. However, it's important to remember that we're talking about the future here, a future full of unknowns. The value of helium-3, the feasibility of nuclear fusion, the costs of space travel, all these factors could shift dramatically in the coming years. While the journey is fraught with challenges, the potential rewards could revolutionize our approach to energy and herald a new era of space exploration. So is moon mining just a pipe dream or a potential reality? We've journeyed through the genesis of moon mining, delving into the prospect of harvesting the moon's resources and the current state of this exciting venture. We've seen how companies like Interloon, led by industry veterans like Rob Meyerson and Apollo 17 astronaut Harrison H. Schmidt, are leading the charge, with ambitious plans to establish a pilot plant on the moon by 2028. This is no small feat, the challenges are vast from the technological requirements to the sheer cost of such a venture, yet the potential rewards are equally immense. The moon is a treasure trove of resources including helium-3, a potential game-changer in the energy sector. Profitability? It's a question that looms large. The scale of investment is immense and the returns are uncertain, yet the potential for profit exists, fueling the drive to push the boundaries of what is possible. Only time will tell if moon mining becomes a reality. But one thing is certain, the prospect of tapping into the moon's resources has ignited the imagination and ambition of humankind.